Well, if you live in Arkansas, so far the news is still good for you. Uh, medical marijuana thing. The Arkansas Supreme Court ruled on Thursday that the Arkansas Medical Cannabis Act would remain on the November ballot. In August, the Arkansas Against Legalized Marijuana filed a petition questioning the legal sufficiency, uh, sufficiency of the measure. Justice concluded that the lawsuit did not prove that the ballot had insufficient language. In their official opinion, the court stated that the ballot need not include every possible consequence or impact of, the, of a proposed measure. <clears throat> and uh, we got Melanie Conway on behalf of Arkansas Against Legalized Marijuana argued six different arguments in total against the measure. Conway in her first argument said the ballot measure allows patients to use unlimited amounts of marijuana as long as they do not possess more than the 2.5 ounces at any time. Like what are they going to do? Smoke too much weed and fall asleep and not do anything for the rest of the day? They're not bothering you are they? The court said that the initiative states limits on how much a dispensary can provide. It's all reasonable man. Nobody's going to try to consume more than 2.5 ounces a day. I mean, not even half of that or even a quarter of that. That's just insanity. So anyway, she continued that issue seven did not specify if cannabis care centers were going to sell food and drink alongside medical marijuana, but court reiterated the ballot did not have to list everything as long as it had an intelligible idea of the scope of the proposed law. I mean, she's just pulling shit out of the air. All right, spokesman for Arkansas against legalized marijuana and Arkansas Surgeon General seems like a little bit of a conflict of interest. Now this guy's propaganda is of the ilk that if uh, the, the medical marijuana isn't something that you should be able to just vote for. In fact, we have medicine. We have plenty of medicine and it goes through the proper, you know, rigorous vetting, you know, testing and trials to make sure it's approved for human consumption and it's it's good stuff it's great you know just like we've seen with uh all the stuff that gets approved or your oxycontins over here we have your uh pcp which was just accidentally discovered in a lab um and all of a sudden the fda is like hey it looks like something we could work with let's trick you know let's try to figure it out and it took them until I believe it was 1965 until they finally figured, man, we can't, this is garbage. Let's get this out of the um, legal system. It's still a Schedule II drug and whatever. I don't know what you use it for. but uh, So he also says that, uh, yeah, medical marijuana just isn't medicine. Um, his propaganda is really bad. Let's just check him out, his latest quote. He said the. The marijuana plant itself is not medicine. Quote, such products that can be used for medical care are already in use in our state and others. But such medicine does not have anything to do with smoking a dried up plant known as weed, pot, ganja, and booyah. I've never heard that one before. And he said, this is only about drug abuse. Well... I'm afraid to tell you, man, but Arkansas has one of the worst problems with Oxycontin and other um, prescription opiates. There's a serious problem with overdose deaths in Little Rock and other places in Arkansas. Um, so I have no idea what you're talking about there, buddy. Your medicine is killing people. Your medicine that you just defended by saying that our state and many others already have medicine that's approved it's approved but that doesn't mean it's safe um so both measures are as of now are still on the november ballot but issue seven faced a second lawsuit before election day the lawsuit challenges the signature collection process and the arkansas supreme court has until october 18th to make that ruling a recent talk, business, and politics Hendricks College poll has support for medical marijuana in Arkansas at 58%. In 2012, Arkansas rejected medical marijuana by 51 to 48 margin. That was close, but as you see charts and as you just kind of know public sentiment, um, the tides are definitely churning and people are ready to... Um, try something different, at least when it comes to marijuana, rather than just locking people up.